everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name's Alexa Ray and welcome to another readathon vlog guys these are my favorite types of videos to do by the title of this video you guys already know we are doing another Colleen Hoover readathon vlog I'm so so excited but also kind of sad we're running out of coho books to read guys I have read almost all her books so far I'm kind of sad about it because because we're running out of Colleen Hoover books to read. So that's what we're gonna be doing for today's video. We're going to be reading a bunch of Colleen Hoover books. I have some recs in here from you guys that we're gonna be reading, and I also have a few that I never really see too much on, so I'm excited to give those a try. These are all the Colleen Hoover books that we've read so far. That's a pretty good amount, if you ask me. Right here is the pile of Coho books that I have not yet read. For the most part, I have gotten through almost half of her books so far. It's kind of exciting, but also kind of sad because we're gonna run out of coho books eventually I just don't want that day to come super excited we are going to be tackling this big pile for today's reading vlog I'm super excited if you're a huge Colleen Hoover fan like myself this is the perfect video for you without further ado let's jump in to this video Three, two, one. <laughs> arguing again arguing about something so simple make it clear tell me why you're running back to him feeling insecure feeling like there's more I have my massive pile of coho books that I have not yet read. If I'm being completely honest, I know I'm not going to be reading Layla in this vlog because Layla is supposed to be another like mystery thriller romance. I kind of want to save this for later in the year when we're like in October because I'm going to do like a spooky readathon vlog. Without Merit is a newer book that I've just picked up and it kind of gives me spooky vibes. The cover kind of creeps me out. I don't know why. If it is spooky, I want to save it with Layla for later in the year but I think I'm actually gonna start with hopeless because it's not a book I see too much about it gives me mixed feelings you guys know I'm not a big fan of real people on book covers it's I don't know. Is it weird? I feel like it might be a really cool read or it might be a really bad read. We'll see. I haven't read a book yet by Colleen Hoover that I do not like, so. Sky, a senior in high school, meets Dean Holder, a guy with a reputation that rivals her own. From their very first encounter, he terrifies and captivates her. Something about him sparks memories of her deeply troubled past, a time she's tried so hard to bury. Though Sky is determined to stay far away from him, his unwavering pursuit and, and smile, smile break, break down, down her down defenses and the intensity of the bond between them grows. But the mysterious Holder has been keeping secrets of his own and once they are revealed sky is changed forever and her ability to trust may be a casualty of the truth i don't know this can go so many different ways we know this if you're familiar with colleen hoover you know she always throws the craziest plot twist at us and i've given up on trying to guess what's going to happen in her books because of that this is also going to be a completely spoiler free reading vlog of course if you have read any of the books that i'm going to be reading in this video comment down below make sure you put like a little spoiler disclaimer and we can chat in the comments comments about all the crazy things that happen in these books. With all that being said, let's jump into Hopeless. I've already read a huge chunk. We are 114 pages into this book. Okay, so so much has happened already. She grabs your attention immediately. I feel like she does this in all her books. She'll give us a small glimpse into like the plot twist happening and it's wild, it's crazy. And immediately I was like, I have to keep going. Dean Holder? <laughs> Phew! Per usual, Coho boys are just magical. The way that him and Skye are coming together and bringing out these different sides in each other is super cool. So far, this is really, really good. I'm obsessed with the story. It's super cute. I love the romance that's simmering in between it all. It's so good, okay? That's all I could say is that it is so, so good. The 
story's going really good. I'm just getting more and more obsessed with it. Dean is absolutely adorable. Their relationship is just so sweet. It's blossoming. Dean says something that I feel like any girl would totally get mad about. And he's not like aware that he said it because technically he was like sleeping and he said it. But I feel like still any girl would get upset about it. This is so, so weird. I feel like this is the first little bump in the road. Weird vibe. I don't know what to think right now. We are on page 222. We're freaking flying through this. It's so good. It's honestly like it's just getting better and better. We're gonna keep going. I'm like nervous to keep reading. I'm, I'm unwell and confused. I'm sorry. What? This might be the craziest plot twist I've ever read in a Koho book. I did not see this coming. I think the last update I gave you guys was about 20 pages ago. And I was talking about how cute Dean was. And then how he said something weird. 20 pages later, I think I'm starting to catch on to what's happening here. It's crazy. And it is wild. <laughs> This is weird. I don't know how to feel right now. I read another 20 pages. I'm not okay. Where this is going, I think? I don't know, guys. I now understand when it says something about him sparks memories of her deeply troubled past, a time she's tried so hard to bury. There is so much baggage to that. If you've read this book, comment down below your thoughts on it because you know what I'm talking about. I can't imagine it getting any crazier than what's happening right now. I'm like emotionally not okay. How does Colleen Hoover write these types of stories? Where does she get these ideas from? I'm emotionally unwell. This is taking such a crazy turn. Again, I think this is still the craziest plot twist I have ever read in a Coho book. I like am so scared to continue reading. Oh my gosh. I'm on page 261. It just keeps getting crazier and crazier and crazier. So much is coming out and I'm kind of shocked. I can't imagine being in Skye's position right now because I would probably lose my mind. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go take off my makeup, get into comfy clothes, and crawl into bed for the day. I'm just not feeling well, guys. My voice is, it's not it, okay? We're gonna go take off my makeup, get comfy, and finish hopeless. I'm so, so nervous. <laughs> Okay, so I have just finished up book one in this reading vlog. This was such a crazy and like wild, twisted story. Going into this book, I did not... <laughs> I know I always say how coho books are like the craziest things always happen and it's not always as it seems but like this one literally is the craziest Colleen Hoover book I've ever read in my entire life. It literally blew all the other crazy ones out of the water but in a good way. I'm obsessed with this. This was so freaking good. I think this is so underrated guys because I never see anything about Hopeless on book talk, on booktube, on Instagram. I never see this book like anywhere so going into to it I was like kind of nervous because I didn't know if I would like it if it would be good just wow is this underrated this is one of my favorite coho books like by far I think it was so so cool I really think Sky and Dean's story is so beautiful and just cute and precious like the way they come together and the way he starts to bring out these memories from Sky's past is just I don't know. I just really, really enjoyed it. Okay, guys. It's a new day. I'm feeling a little better, okay? I'm feeling a little bit better. My throat is still... It feels a little bit weird and it's a little bit sore still, but it's not as bad as yesterday. Today, I'm feeling a little bit better. It felt good to go to bed early last night. Hopeless. We finished this book in one sitting. Guys, I know I say this like after reading every Colleen Hoover book, but this might be... This might be one of my favorite Coho books I've ever read. This is so underrated, okay? This was so freaking good. I'm obsessed. 
obsessed with everything about it. I thought the storyline was so crazy. I don't know. It just, it checked all the boxes on my list for being a favorite book. I really enjoyed it. I love Dean Holder. I love Sky. I thought character development was really cool. The way their relationship grew and flourished, it was so beautiful. It's so underrated. Definitely a five-star read for me. This is definitely a book that I'd like to go back and annotate. I love this. The only thing I don't like about this book is the book cover. This is just not it. I hope maybe someday they come out with a different book cover for this. That's the only downside to it is the book cover. I don't like I don't like this, okay? With that being said, this is a five star read for me and I absolutely 100% recommend this. Guys, wow, so, so freaking good. We are going to move on to our next read today. I actually have the next book in the Hopeless series, which is Losing Hope. This tells the same story, just from Dean's point of view. I love that. I hear that this is so good and people actually enjoy the story from his point of view better than guy's point of view. I feel like real people on book covers almost ruin it for people because you know when you're reading you kind of make up your own people in your head and what they look like and then when you see these covers you're like that's not that's not correct. That's not how I pictured them. I'm really excited to continue the series with Losing Hope but because I loved this book so much it was a five star read. I'm going to hold off on continuing the series because I already know I'm going to love it. Like I know I'm going to be obsessed it's gonna be another five-star read. I have no doubt in my mind. I'm gonna hold off on finishing the series just so we can get a little bit of a different vibe in today's vlog. I'm actually gonna move on to a completely different book and it's called Heart Bones. This book has been highly, highly recommended on my channel. A lot of you have told me that this is like your favorite coho book. So I decided to give it a try today. About 300 pages. So I thought we would try it out. It's also supposed to be like a summary read so I feel like that is so fitting it's summertime we should read a summary read so we are going to start heart bones today I'm super excited you guys have raved about this book for months on my channel so many of you have told me it's one of your favorite coho books so we're gonna give it a shot today also really quick how cute is my outfit this is like such a summery vibe I feel like guys I'm obsessed with overalls I feel like it's perfect for the reading vlog I just want to share that with you let's get into this do you see this chaotic mess right here? I'm running out of room to put books. Like I literally need to buy more bookshelves. We're starting Heart Bones today. I'm super, super excited. This is the book cover. I think it's so pretty. I love the colors. Gives me like fiery, summery vibes. Bea comes from a life of poverty and neglect. Samson from a family of wealth. When the two find themselves spending the summer as neighbors, they soon realize money is one of the few things they don't have in common. Their bond is too intense to ignore but with only the summer separating them from the start of their new lives on opposite ends of the country, Bay and Samson decide to stay in the shallow end of a summer fling. What they don't realize is that a rip current is coming and it's about to drag both their hearts out to sea. Oh boy. Okay, doesn't give us too much detail. We are gonna jump right in to this reading vlog. Another lazy afternoon. The clouds covered in gray. So this is starting off very heavy. We're starting off with Bea and basically her story, her life, where she's coming from. It's so heavy and deep and I feel so sad inside. ho -Ho's starting this one off super sad, guys, which means it's going to be wild. So far, this is kind of going as I predicted. I feel like it's a little bit predictable. Samson is written to be like this super standoffish guy. He obviously also has like this weird attraction to Bea. Bea kind of annoys me. I feel bad saying that because I feel like the life that she's come from is so sad and so hard. We are on page 89, chapter 10. It's super cute so far, like I'm into it. I like that it's like a beachy 
vibe. I think it's so fun and it's so fitting for the summertime. I'm really nervous and I feel like after reading Hopeless and reading that crazy wild plot twist, I just don't know what to expect now. I'm so nervous, but we're gonna keep going. We're on chapter 10. We are actually gonna head outside because it is absolutely gorgeous out today. So I feel like it'd be so fitting to go read this book outside. So we are gonna do that. We're gonna take little Osiris for a little walk. We're gonna enjoy this summer read on the perfect summer day. It's a little bit later. I think I have officially read my first Colleen Hoover book that I didn't, I didn't like. It happens. This book started off really good for me. I actually really enjoyed it. I liked the idea and concept. Got a little shady towards like the middle part. Samson and Bea, they were cute, but there was some shady secretive stuff going on there that even I caught on to. I did think the one scene where they were at the beach, it was like towards the middle slash end and they kind of come across something. They stumble across something. At that point in the book, I was kind of like, oh, okay then, like this is, this is getting a little bit weird now. Where is, where is Koho going with this, okay? I didn't like it. I didn't like the plot twist in this book. I didn't like it. It's not my favorite and it's honestly, it's like the first book I don't, I don't like by Koho. I'm actually really sad about it. Like at first I was like, okay, like it's okay. Everything's gonna be okay. And then it got worse. It got progressively worse. I almost feel like the ending was super rushed with the weight of the plot twist we were given. Like this plot twist was so wild, okay? I really did not see this coming. And maybe if we had a longer ending, if we had a longer book that kind of went more into depth what happens after this plot twist, it may have been able to redeem itself. I think it would have been a better story if it was longer and we had more detail. We finished it. I know this was a huge wreck on my channel and I know so many of you love this book. I'm so sorry if I am hurting anyone's feelings. That is not my intentions. If you did read this book, let me know down below what your thoughts were on it. The first one, the first Coho book I really don't like. So far in this reading vlog, we have read Hopeless and Heartbones. One was really amazing, one was not so amazing. We're gonna keep moving along and the next book that I am going to be reading in this vlog is Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. This one is like a real person cover and you can even see like right in here that like it's real people. I don't mind it though. This is a book that I do see a fair amount of on like BookTok and Instagram, but I don't know. I feel like the reviews are kind of mixed. Some people really love it. Some people don't like it at all. We are going to be giving it a try today. I'm excited, but I'm nervous because we read one really good book so far and then we read one that I just wasn't too big on. I was kind of iffy. Maybe Someday tells the story of 22 year old Sydney who is enjoying a great life. She's in college working a steady job in love with her wonderful boyfriend Hunter and rooming with her best friend Tori but everything changes when she discovers that Hunter is cheating on her and she's forced to decide what her next move should be. Soon Sydney finds herself captivated by her mysterious and attractive neighbor Ridge. I feel like Ridge is a really cool name. She can't take her eyes off him or stop listening to the passionate way he plays his guitar every evening out on his balcony. And there's something about Sydney that Rich can't ignore either. They soon find themselves needing each other in more ways than one. A passionate tale of friendship, betrayal, and romance. Kind of getting the vibe that this is going to be a romance based around music. Like the idea of it being like a musical romance. One of my favorite Coho books is Confess and the whole romance in that story is based around art and painting and I was obsessed with it so I feel like, I feel like this has a good chance. A lot of people don't like this one so we are going to find out today what it is that people don't like about this one. Okay. Okay, so. We are now going to take a short break to make some cookies because this is not going, this is not going how I thought it would go, guys. It is just, 
I feel like it's too early to judge. This is not it. This is not my favorite book trope, honestly. I find it hard to believe that this is anyone's favorite book trope. That being said, we are going to take a quick break and make some cookies because I, I need that right now. I need to take a breather. I just don't, I don't know how this story could possibly end with like a happy ending. I'm like really disappointed guys because I wasn't that into heart bones and I just am not that into maybe someday. The only thing that's keeping me reading this and kind of interested in it is Colleen Hoover actually co-wrote this with a real musician and there's a whole musical album that you can listen to with songs from this book and you're supposed to listen to them in order that they appear. It is like really really cool, but I don't love the romance in this and that's why I read Colleen Hoover books because I love her romances and this is just it's not it's not it Okay guys, it's a little bit later. We have made such a big dent in this book. It gets better, it got better. It's still not my favorite Coho book and I still really don't like the whole plot to it all, but it's kind of getting better. Like I think the storyline is really interesting. I feel like Sydney just kind of bores me. I'm also more interested in the side characters, Warren and Bridget. I'm just like really into them. I think Warren is so funny and Bridget is just like so weird and crazy but also funny in her own way like I really want to read more about their story because their characters are just so interesting in this book and I really am enjoying their story more than like the main character story which is so weird I feel like but we are going to keep going see how this weird story ends We have officially finished our third and fourth book in this vlog. I didn't actually vlog reading the fourth book because it was a novella. And if you're not familiar, novellas are fairly short reads. They're like around 100 pages, if even. And it was the second installment in the Maybe Someday series. Immediately finishing this, I had to just move on and see if I could redeem the series for me because Maybe someday was not, it wasn't it. I would give this a three star rating. It was my least favorite book trope, my least favorite romance, book couple, characters. It was so boring. I didn't like this book. I actually found myself more interested in the side characters in this than the main characters. There's some things I really enjoyed and then obviously there's things that I just really, really did not enjoy. If you're looking to get into Coho books, don't read this first because I feel like this will really ruin it for you. There are so many good Colleen Hoover books out there. I really love her as an author. It's just this one, I didn't like. It wasn't my favorite. Like Heartbones, I feel like the ending of this was just super rushed. Maybe someday we finished up and then I immediately wound up reading Maybe Not, which is the second book in the series. It's a novella. This tells the story of the side characters, Warren and Bridget. I actually, I really enjoyed this. I think I gave this like a four star rating because I I was so interested in Warren and Bridget's story and maybe someday I was so excited to read about them and maybe not. This is such a spicy read for only being 100 pages. I feel like I could have done without all that spice in this and kind of just learned more about Warren and Bridget as a whole. These are the two and final books that I am reading for this reading vlog. Okay everyone, that is all for our massive Colleen Hoover readathon. I hope you enjoyed the video. We read four amazing Coho books even though I wasn't a big fan of a few of them, I still really love Colleen Hoover as an author because even the books that I didn't really enjoy of her, I was still so drawn into the story and the characters that I had to finish them regardless. Another Colleen Hoover readathon for the book. I'm really happy about it and how far we've come with Colleen Hoover. I started reading Colleen Hoover back in February or March. That is so crazy. We're in July now and I've read more than half her books. If you like this video, 
video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it really helps me out. It lets me know that you like these types of videos. You like my massive readathon vlogs, my bookstore vlogs, my book reviews, all that fun book content. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you'd like to see more of me because I post weekly, guys. I literally post every single week. Basically free entertainment every single week. So you might as well subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video.